Hi guys, I'm super excited to do this video because it's a Sephora haul. Uh, now, I had received a Sephora gift card for Christmas that I haven't spent until now because I was waiting for um, some items to come back and I'm sure you know what one of them is. Um, but that will be last, so let's get started. I will show you uh, the free stuff that I got first, the samples that you could pick out when you order. The first thing is this uh, anti-aging mask for your hair. And I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I've never used this company before. I think it might be Fido or Phyto. Um, but yeah, they give you quite a lot for a sample. And I might transfer it to like one of those con traveling container things. Uh, just so it's easier for me to use and to at least save like the quality. Um, because once you open it, you know, it's not as good. And then I picked out two perfumes because this time the samples were a lot of um, you, perfumes to choose from. So I picked the two that I thought might uh, be the best for me. Uh, the first one is this Dolce & Gabbana Rose the One. And then the next one is Very Hollywood by Michael Kors. And I'm excited to use those. And now for the actual makeup stuff. I first picked out... Uh, a NARS blush and this one is in deep throat and when I opened it I was like oh I think I have this color already which is orgasm but it's totally different it's a su such a beautiful like pink, pink peachy color I'm wearing it right now and it's just really gives me a really nice glow I really really like it um, and just for comparison um, let me get the orgasm right here so let me just put them side by side so this is orgasm right here and this is deep throat and as you can tell they're kind of like in the same I guess why I thought they were similar is because they're both peachy sort of um, but this one obviously is amped up with glitter and more peachy to me. Uh, but I really, really like this one a lot. I have only seen really good reviews for this product, so that's why I decided to get it. And the pricing really doesn't change on these NARS blushes. Uh, so I just decided to go for it and buy it. I think it's, the price was 20, I want to say 27, definitely around that price range. And then the next thing is the much talked about Naked palette. I'm super excited to have this palette in my hand, in the flesh. Um, it's just, even the outside is just really nice, um, even though it's just like basic gold um, and brown. It's just, they really did a nice packaging I think on this and this is um before it was 44 now this is 48 I think that's because they changed um you get a brush with it instead of the eyeliners which I know a lot of people are disappointed but I actually had another uh Urban Decay palette the Alice in Wonderland palette and they gave me an eyeliner that I never used in there so I didn't find that a big deal because I already had the eyeliners that I never tested out. So now I will test them out, which I am wearing right now. Uh, the black eyeliner, zero. Uh, but back to this palette here. It's just really awesome. Um, I actually had a chance to buy it when it first came out last year. But I was like, you know what? I never used the Alice in Wonderland palette. I'm not going to buy another palette because I have so many. You know, like the 120 and um, the 28 Neutral I think it's Coastal Scents, 28 Neutral Coastal Scents palette. I just have so many palettes that I just was like, uh, it's just not worth it. But after I saw reviews and videos and blogs, I just had to get it. So I was waiting for it to come in stock. And I got an email last weekend saying it was back in stock. And as soon as I got that email, I went to get, I bought the palette. Um, and I 
think they're still available last time I checked which was like the other day uh, but I ordered this on Sunday or Monday and I got it Friday which was awesome because you know UPS doesn't deliver on the weekend which totally sucks um, but I was so excited to get it I'm lucky that the Sephora or the office is located where they do the packaging in Maryland which is kind of close to me state wise so yeah really excited um, but when you open it the mirror is right there and then it says naked on there and then here are the colors and like I said it comes with the brush and the brush is a pretty decent brush I actually didn't use it for creating this look but it's just a shadow brush and I like it because it has kind of like a metal finish to the brush to the packaging over here so yeah that's pretty cool and the colors are pretty amazing uh, there is more shimmer than matte but they give you a few matte choices which I really like I'm just so excited to have it I know a lot of Urban Decay enthusiasts they uh, were saying that this is a really good deal because you get a lot of shadows and for the price um, it's a pretty pretty uh, awesome thing to have so I'm really excited to have it in my hand uh, the col I actually did a look with this palette already just a really simple look because I just wanted to try it out so I used uh, on my lid I used sidecar which is this color right here and then for my crease and outer corner sort of I use Buck, which is actually darker. Um, I thought it was going to be lighter, but it's darker than the way that it looks. And then for my brow bone I, and inner corner, I use this one, which is So the colors you get Virgin. are Virgin, Sin, Virgin, Sin, Naked, Sidecar, Buck, Half Bake, uh, Smog, Dark Horse. Toasted, Hustle, Creep, and Gum Metal. Uh, I was debating on whether to do swatches, but uh, I know that there's a lot of videos on, on these already. But I just have to say, you have to get this if you can get a chance to get your hands on it. I totally would. Um, I'm kind of upset I didn't buy the first time around. Um, just so that I could have the original, which are with the eyeliners. But just to show you what the eyeliners look like. They look like this. These are the Glide On eyeliners. And these two are from the Wonder Alice in Wonderland palette. But I just used this one today. And it just glides on so smooth. And I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to test these out. Um, but I forgot about them. I didn't even realize they were in the Alice in Wonderland palette until I opened it up last week. And I've had that, had that Alice in Wonderland palette for a really long time now. So that just shows you how silly I am. Um... But yeah, these seem really nice, and hopefully they'll stay on for 24 hours. Um, that's what it says they'll do. I don't know. So yeah, I have. So I'm very lucky I have those. But the new brush, the I guess you call it Volume Two. I don't know. Uh, of the Naked Palette Version Two, not Volume Two. Version Two of this, uh, the brush, like I said, it seems really nice. So you know, we'll see. Uh, but just to show you again the loveliness that is this palette right here and it's great because you can take it with you on vacation or to work because it is sleek and small enough so this is how thin it is very 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 nice just to have it I just am like really ex excited about it um I know some places on eBay and Amazon are selling out really, selling them really expensive, and I don't think it's worth it to get it there. Just wait, you'll get your email. I got my email. I've been waiting for like a few months, and I got my email, and I bought it, and really excited about it. And I'm also excited about the NARS blush as well. Um, I think it just, all I can say is it's really pretty. That's the that's what what I think about when I see so that I'm blush. So I'm so excited to have this. If you couldn't tell throughout this video, um, I'm finally glad I got my hands on it. And whoever's looking for one, I hope you guys get one too. And thanks for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.